every time I do that, it makes that person as, as irrelevant as people say I am, am in hip hop, yeah. I make them bigger. Five years have passed since the beef between Eminem and MGK. Let's take a look at how the life and career of Machine Gun Kelly changed after Killshot. After all, did someone ever expect him to turn out like that? Before proceeding, let us recall their conflict real quick. Everything started all the way back in 2012 when MGK called Eminem's daughter hot on Twitter. Okay, so I just saw a picture of Eminem's daughter and I have to say, she is hot as fuck in most respectful way possible because M is king. In May of 2017, the conflict began to escalate. At the beginning, MGK went on the radio and said, I'm my favorite rapper alive since my favorite rapper banned me from Shade 45, I wonder. Like I'm trying to hinder his career, so I give a fuck about your career. And towards the end of 2017, the song No Reason was released in collaboration with Tag 9 where a reference to Marshall's Rap God was featured. I'm beginning to feel like a rap god, rap god. All my people from the front to the back now. Being on the top charts, not the cop card, so remind y'all you just rap, you not god. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Tag said that he and his producer were unaware MGK was dissing him on no reason. Eminem was tired of being silent and dissed back and not alike. I don't use the blend, and sure as fuck don't sneak this, but keep commenting on my daughter, Haley. But MGK didn't celebrate for too long and released a diss track called Rap Devil. Fuck rap god, I'm the rap devil, come a bare face with a black shovel like the Armageddon when the smoke settle, his body next to this issue. On top of that, he said that Eminem's last four albums were crap. He said that Marshall didn't even want to listen to him on the radio, and that if he wanted to, he could have sex with Eminem's ex-wife Kim. After that, Eminem released Kill Shot. Marshall called him a stan and said that at 45 years old, he still wins against younger rappers in terms of sales. And he recalled older beefs with Ja Rule and Benzino, stating that the same fate awaits him. The diss track was listened to 38 million times in one day. Kelly, they'll be putting your name next to Ja, next to Benzino. Ja, motherfucker, like the last motherfucker saying Haley. You haven't heard his rap devil response? No, I heard it. What do you think of it? Not bad for him. He has some good lines in it. In turn, MGK said that Marshall's diss was subpar. Execute Kill shot was, was a leg shot. Rap devil. We're talking about facts. You want to talk about man buns? This was also stated at one of the concerts. Knees weak of old age, the real slim shady can't stand up. He also asked the public for a group photo. The fans listened and raised their middle fingers just as he had asked them to. After that, he posted the picture on Instagram and captured it saying, he missed. However, the fans from the concert weren't totally okay with these actions. One user wrote, let's tell people how you were wearing a jacket and told us to hold up our middle fingers for the group photo. The tweet reads, how you turned around to reveal the kill shot shirt and how you spent the majority of the set hating on Eminem. Stop using Fallout Boy fans as your pawn in this childish feud. It was ugly to exploit Fallout Boy and us fans that way. It's shitty. None of us were there to see you. At least 90% of the people weren't. After that, MGK released the EP, Binge. Well, I'm living shit, get crazy dark. Uh, tell me lately why we barely talk. Even with the highly publicized beef with Eminem, Machine Gun Kelly's Binge EP apparently wasn't on everyone's wish list. According to Hits Daily Double, the project sold roughly 21,519 total album equivalent units in its first week, with 9,000 of those being pure album sales. After a controversial EP, MGK bid 2018 goodbye with a post saying, just to piss y'all off one more time before the year's over, he begins in the caption, y'all still big mad. Fuck rap god. I'm the rap devil. Goodbye 2018. Further, at one of Eminem's concerts in 2019, the public asked for Kill Shot, but he responded saying, I would, but I can't get that cocksucker any more fucking light. MGK reacted to this on Twitter saying, and I quote, 
Eminem made the right decision not dropping that weak-ass song in concert and putting everyone to sleep, he tweeted. Hashtag Rap Devil. From MGK's side, the trolling continued. Why is Pac-12 this week? On July 5th of 2019, MGK released a new album titled Hotel Diablo, in which the artist sounded so different and was even difficult to recognize it. Watch me, take a good thing and fuck it all up in one night. Catch me, I'm the one on the place. Is it worth it when you see it's all too face? Trying to fit into a world with no new space. It was clear that there were rap songs on there. However, he discovered a new side to himself in music. My honesty in going through my earlier years and then in my 20s was like, it was dark. You know, even when I was putting out the album Bloom, I was like trying to be this like happy person. I just wasn't. And you were like, just running from something, I think. Absolutely. You? And as MGK said, this was the first genuine and sincere album. Hotel Diablo received positive reviews from music critics and general listeners, but... Once again, he couldn't but speak out about Eminem. I just spent the winter living after someone trying to send a kill shot missing me. Kelly attributed the success of the album to Eminem, saying, As a hip-hop album, Hotel Diablo is flawless front to back, and also a hint at the evolution of how I went into a pop-punk album, he said. But it was coming off the tail end of that infamous beef, so no one wanted to give it the time of day. It's like if you make a shitty movie, and then you come out with a great movie right after, but people want to focus on the fact that they hated whatever you just did. What I did in the beef was exactly what it should be, but that project wasn't welcomed. Some time passed since that, and we can jump forward to the year 2020. Eminem released an album titled Music To Be Murdered By, where he said that the beef with Kelly is over. Bitch, you lost me. Yeah, fair weather, wishy-washy. She thinks machine washed me. Ask me, is the war finished with MGK? Of course it is. I cleansed him of his mortal sins. I'm God and the Lord forgives. MGK commented saying, Mad AF. I just stepped out a loud room to hear this bullshit. He's been rich and mad for 20 years straight. Eminem decided to participate in the Twitter challenge by posting a meme of his Facebook Grinder, Instagram, and LinkedIn profile photos as part of the hashtag Dolly Parton challenge. MGK said the following, but ended up deleting it just a couple of hours later. 50-year-old artist trying to be relevant to the youth by posting trending memes is something I never thought I'd see. Hashtag 2020. Two months after this clash, MGK released a track titled Bullets With Names where we heard yet another attack against Eminem. I got a bullet with somebody's name on it. I get up on him, I don't need no aim on it. Kill me a ghost on my jacket, got stains on He then released a pop punk album titled Tickets to My Downfall. This album was at the top of the billboards. Due to such major changes in his image, people assume that he had left rap. The squad double X, we the hard. Me double mercy mark. Should have never got a start. Day, our dreams will come to life. We'll be forever. Do you feel like you're being pulled away from hip hop? And you know, and the acting bug is, is totally no, I, I think that I'm doing something that hasn't been seen yet, and that it's just unusual, and that people don't know how to categorize it. So it's being seen as like I'm leaving or departing something and doing it. Even his appearance changed. He began to actively show up dressed in a punk kind of style with painted nails, pink hair, and brightly colored clothes. And you're still scared of pink in 2020. Are you kidding me? Yeah, mad. Just say it. You're mad. <laughs> the change in his career helped him win a bunch of awards. And the American Music Award goes to... Machine Gun Kelly! Oh my God, dude, I'm tripping out. We won the VMA. The only problem is I'm not used to winning awards. I've never been nominated for those years like this, so I forgot. In 2022, MGK released yet another pop punk album called Mainstream Sellout. And it even got to first place on the Billboard charts. As you know, MGK started dating Megan Fox in 2020. And this year, they broke up because the rapper allegedly cheated. After breaking up, Megan followed Eminem. Generally speaking, MGK only benefited from the Killshot diss track. 
The next video that I recommend you watch is about Suge Knight's most violent moments. Bye, everyone.